You like the color and material of yarn you have, but it's just too fine for what you want to use it for. Fortunately, there is an easy way to triple the weight of any yarn as you crochet on it. Let's see how it goes. Here I have some iron weight yarn and I want to triple this. So what you do, set it out in so that it's, there's three strands of it. Like this here, with the tail here to the right. And take hold of all of the three. And then make a slip knot as if this was just one yarn. So just make a slip knot whichever way you make it. And then you start to crochet. Just start to crochet until, depending on how long your loops were, you come to this here loop. And you have your working yarn here. And what you do is you put the working yarn through the loop, like this here, and you pull. So you hold on to it and you pull and pull as long as you want to, but it's worth doing it fairly long so you don't need to do it all the time. I have here maybe about a meter, not quite. And then you continue crocheting normally. And when you come to this here join, you just treat it as if it wasn't there. It's not going to show at all. So you just crochet across that, like this here, with your treble yarn. And um, you can, of course, use then any stitches. I'll go back now and start doing double crochets here. And uh, another one. And then I will soon get to that loop here now. So now I'll do the same again. I'll see that the yarn comes through that there loop and I pull whatever length there and then just leave it like that and continue crocheting normally. The join's already in here and I can't even see it. So this is all you do. You continue every time you come to the loop, you start pulling a new loop. I'll do a bit also with very chunky wool. So here and setting it like this here and taking hold of all of them, making a slip knot. So now it's very, very chunky with three big strands like this here. And then of course each stitch takes more yarn too. So I'm already making a second loop here by putting it through there and pulling and pulling like that there. And then continuing to crochet whatever I'm going to make. And here's the join. So it's just hidden in those stitches there. Like that there and you continue. And then you can also use multicolored variegated yarn. And the shorter the different colored bits on the yarn are, the more you then mix them even more when you loop this. So I have it in here and I start looping it and it's starting now to get a different color here. So when I crochet that, I really get a mix of different colors. This is really something you can use with any yarn you have. 